good morning guys welcome back to the mountain well it has been a long process to get to this point right here i have been sick for the last 17 days and to be honest with you i'm still pretty sick but i can't stay in the cabin any longer i'm about to head to florida on an epic trip here in a couple of days and i wanted to get some milling done before i left that way i have some siding ready to go whenever i get back home so that's what we're going to do today I've already crunk Uber up, got it warmed up. You got the tire aired up. I've already checked all of the fluids in the sawmill, crunk it up, warm it up, so we are ready to go. We're gonna start with these couple of pines right here and get them on the mill and start milling them. What I'm gonna do is cut one side flat, flip it up on its side, and then I'm gonna cut live edge all the way down and go ahead and stack them over there by the building. And that way they're ready to go when I get back from Florida. I'm excited about this. I've been needing to get this done forever. But I came down with a very, very bad cold that took me out for a little while. But today, we're going to get after it. All right, let's get Uber Kirk up and get started. <laughs>
all right guys we got the first log milled up it wasn't that big of a log but it did end up giving me about eight pieces of some live edge siding with pretty wide planks the planks are going to be different sizes because of different size logs i'm not trying to make them the same i want it to be a very random pattern on the building but i got them all laid out and i think it looks pretty good there is a little bit of bluing right here on there i'm not really worried about the bluing at all especially if i end up deciding to burn it or paint it so it's not structural so i'm not really worried about it but this time i'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit bigger of a pine and put on there and see how many uh pieces i can actually get out of that the blade on here is getting close to about the time that it needs to be changed i'm going to cut until it won't cut no more with it because i don't mind a little wave and stuff in this because this is all going to be rough cut stuff anyways i'm probably not going to plane it and try to go with like a real slick look or anything like that i think i'm going to keep it rough cut to give it that rustic look that'll help make it match the cabin a little bit better i'm thinking the next one that we're going to grab is this big boy right here it is a pretty good size i'm going to grab the small end put it towards the blade and have the fat end over there on the other end all right let's get it on the grapple get it on the mill and continue milling it is a gorgeous day out here and i am definitely uh having a lot of stuff come out of me right now uh from being all sick i've been sweating a little bit in the hoodie i got my thing on right here just to keep from breathing in all that sawdust and that pine being that i sinuses and stuff have been crazy with this cold but starting to sweat a little bit so hopefully we can sweat this cold out
Now this log right here, guys, is by far <laughs> the biggest one that I've ever tried to mill. It is a beast. It's also the biggest one that I've tried to put on this mill right here. This isn't that big of a mill, but I think it's just big enough to be able to make this happen. But I think I should be able to get quite a bit of lumber out of this and should get some really nice big wide planks which will look pretty cool on the building all right we're gonna get it fired up go ahead and get our first cut get it spun and start making some more siding got the supervisor over there checking it out making sure that i got it all cinched down properly making sure that the job's gonna go good and safe rider what do you think about it You got a hard life, don't you? Yeah. Well, it was bound to happen at some point. I ended up breaking a blade or throwing a blade. I don't know yet until I get it open. But we're about to find out. Oh yeah, it broke. Look at that, guys. I knew the blade was getting pretty old. So it was only a matter of time. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this changed out. I don't know if we'll get to do any more milling because... The sun is getting low, but it was definitely getting a lot harder to cut, especially with this big log. Now I'm gonna go ahead and undo the good one. You got to be very careful when you're doing this because it will hurt you and it is spring loaded. Now I have seen people just throw them before and I don't want to do that uh, it doesn't seem like it has that much spring to it uh, uh, there it is all right
Well, I think we got it, guys. It's cutting real nice now. Look at this. Very nice. I don't know how many more we're gonna get before the sun sets, but let's try to get as many as we can. All right, guys, I didn't get as much milled as I wanted to, especially with that blade breaking over there. And I had to teach myself how to actually change it. There was a small learning curve with it, but I got it. I got the supervisor out here checking it out. And of course, the foreman's over here making sure that we did all right. But I do have a question for you guys. Do y'all like the super wide planks or the much smaller planks as far as the siding goes? I don't know, I, I think these sizes right here are way too big to kind of put with these. So I'd like to keep it a little bit closer in size. Let me know in the comments, do you think it would look better with this on the side of the building or the wider planks? Looks like Ryder chooses wider. But it was fun. I've been sick as a dog for 17 days. It was nice to get out of the cabin. I definitely feel it uh, coming back on now that the evening's coming. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video, grab a shower, and go ahead and start editing this video for you guys. If you have not liked and subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you do hit the notification bell because I got an epic trip coming up to Florida here in two days. And I'm going to bring back some really cool stuff for the homestead on the way back. And as soon as I get back home, we're going to knock out the tiny house over there. Thanks for coming along on this video, and until we see each other again, come on, let's go on another adventure. Mm -hmm.